Welcome back, it's Cheryl here today. Uh, if you like everything home and garden, please subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to divide uh, hostas. And if you want to see what I do, stick around, I'll be right back. Down here on this tarp, and now whether I can get back up is the question. <laughs> So all I'm using is a serrated knife and I got a couple pots um, that are overcrowded and you see they've already started dying back so that makes it easy and I got a bucket of water just so I can rinse off any excess water. <coughs> so I hope you can see everything I'm doing okay. All right, so I'm gonna tip this pot, and this pot got broke a little bit. And you see the, uh, you can see how the roots are compacted. So I'm just gonna pull off the dead, and uh, this will be fairly easy. This is a miniature hosta. I'm not sure the name. This is not uh, not variegated. I can see it looks like it has uh, some eyes, and this won't hurt the plant. We've had these hostas for years, and they keep coming back. So I'm gonna saw through here. And the problem might be is when I get ready to put them back in the pot, I may not have enough dirt. <laughs> so I'm going to put half back in the pot. And this half, I'm not going to pull all the roots off. But um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see up there, there's some, uh, I will get up and show you, but I can't. But there's some eyes there, so I was going to um, use the bucket to rinse it off, but I don't think I need to because I think this one will be fine, so I'm going to set that to the side. And here's another one. I'm just pulling off all the dead leaves. And I don't know the name of this one either. I've had these to us this probably 10 years or more so just pulling everything off won't hurt okay so let's see if I can dump this one out so far well take that back I would say so far I hadn't seen any bugs but I just found a uh, snail Okay, this one's still got a lot of water in it, so it may be hard to get out. Let's see if I can take the knife, go around and get it out. And it should be okay this time of year to divide these because even though it's cool today, it'll be warm here a few more. Maybe another week or two. Okay, wow. This one really need it divided and look at the roots on that so this one uh, I'm going to definitely cut some of the roots off and it won't hurt it okay I'm just going to cut this one in half as well and like I said I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> to them when I get ready to put them back in the pot because I don't think I have any dirt so that one can go back in for next year and it won't be all crowded up but this one here I'm going to cut some more of the roots off because it was root bound 
my husband already dug the holes for me over in the over near the cutting garden is where I want to put these these are, are miniature hostas so they won't get that big and take up a lot of space but they'll be nice fillers for my other hostas over there that you've seen in previous videos and my hydrangeas so I'm gonna set that one to the side okay and so next I'm gonna try to get up <laughs> and get another pot of hostas okay i'm gonna put you on pause and then i'll be right back okay i got uh two other big pots down here and i'm gonna try to divide i don't know if i can get this one out of the pot tearing off all the dead leaves and stems this one was definitely root bound in this pot. I try to tip it over and it don't want to come out. Let's see if I can get it out with the knife. If not, I might have to cut it inside the pot, but I don't want to do that because I want to take the whole thing out. I can tell it is root bound. Yeah, I can hear the roots down in there. I might have to go get my little shovel. And these kind of pots, I, I don't normally like to put them plants directly in the pot. I'd rather have a plastic pot, that way I can pull it out and if I need to, I can just cut the pot. My husband put these in here. And this is not working well for me. So I'm going to have to pause and come back again with my spoon and get this out. Alright, be right back. <laughs> if I can get up. I am back and um, I had to get my husband to get this monster out of the pot. So I'm just going to cut a few roots off, not many. Got the dogs out here whining. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right down the middle. And you say, why? Well, it won't hurt. Probably shouldn't do it this way, but this is works for me. And I've never had a problem. And the hostas always come back. So, this one... I think I'm going to cut it in a half again and then I'll have one for this pot and I'll put this other one in that pot. This pot here, I think instead of dividing it, I'm going to put the uh, entire plant in the ground. So I'll put that over there. He said he does 11 holes for me. That means I got to come up with 11 plants. Ooh. Ooh. I just had a piece of dirt go in my eye. This one. Okay, that was easy. So I'm going to put this one back in there. And see, this one is root bound. Got a potato bug in here. I'm going to cut some of the roots off and there might be some gardeners out there saying she don't know what she doing well I've been had these hostas for over 10 years dug them up from another place and brought them here 
and they're still kicking so this one um i could cut in half so i'll have two over there of this type and then that'll save me okay so this is what i'm going to be doing and i'm setting the ones over here to the side that we're going to plant so we got i got five so i have uh six more to go i'm not going to let you watch me do six more i'm going to look around and see which other ones i think are um might be uh look to see which other um Hostas might be root bound in the pot and get them out and then when I get ready to take them over to the uh, holes I'll bring you back so I'll be back it'll probably be a little bit before I get the rest of these out of these pots okay as you can see over there my husband is edging up that uh, Japanese maple and it makes a difference on how your plants look versus being straight to the grass so that's what he's doing and i'm going to be putting this uh these hostas in the hole so that's uh if you want to watch we'll see if you can see what i'm doing Okay, I'm back over here. I already put one in the hole. And so, hopefully the holes are wide and deep enough. I'm going to have to cut some off the bottom. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Got several holes going around, as you can see. So, I'll get to putting them in the holes, and I will be back to show you how it looks. Okay guys, I got um, all 11 in the ground, you can see, I think some of them will do well where we have them. I spread out the excess dirt, we got this red mud here, so got them all in the ground, that one was already there. Um, he dug some holes over here in the sun 
so I'm not sure how these are going to make it. But it might be morning sun and evening shade, so that might be good. So I'm just going to, you can see, you see my shadow with my bun sticking out. So I'm just going to water these in, and then after that I'll give a quick tour of my cutting garden. I, nothing's much changed over there, but I'll go over it anyway. I think that there ain't going vine is back. All right, bye-bye. Hey guys, this is what I was talking about that my husband started. Um, he started edging up, and uh, he started edging up around this big Japanese maple we have, and he started edging back up here um, towards my cutting garden. And so we're going over here and see what's going on. I haven't done a garden video in a couple months because one, it was too daggone hot, and two, we had the hurricane, two hurricanes come through here. But um, I still got some irises over here, but I got plenty of time to decide what I'm going to do over there. Some of the weeds are coming back. Um, that rose there, I want to replace. This one has gotten bigger. As you can see, I'm going to have to get another tie and tie that up. But look, this son of a gun has met, came back with a fury all over. So I'm going to pull that out. And um, okay, I'm back over here still fighting this vine. So to end this video so far, I want to show you, look how much I pulled off. Now all that rain and everything got to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off what I can down below and clean this up. Try to get this craziness out of my hedges because my hedges look like they came back good. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my gardening video so i hope you enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye bye